What is up you guys? I'm sorry I haven't made a video in uh, um, a little bit, but had some final stuff going on. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to wash the uh, engine bay today. And as you can see, it is completely filthy. Look at that. Just filthy. This engine bay hasn't looked clean in I don't know how long, but this is what it looks like. And... Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, it's gonna go from this. All right, and it could look like this. So I'm gonna go over real quick what exactly I'm gonna use to uh, wash the engine bay. I'm gonna link another video up in the corner um, for what I used as a um, template, I guess template or a guide myself to washing a engine bay. It makes me nervous to think about washing the engine bay. I know it's if like the engine's already open to the elements as it is, so it should be all right, but we're gonna go over it right now on uh, washing the 350Z engine bay real quick. Let me show you exactly what I'm gonna use. And man, the mustache is coming in so good. I got this nice porn stash going. All right, so this is exactly what I'm gonna be using, an engine degreaser to um, um, obviously degrease anything. I mean, it doesn't look like I have much any grease in the engine bay to begin with, but I'm gonna use this just to get some of the dirt off. Um, this Pro Shine protectant, um, it's gonna be something I put on the very end um, just to help the black plastic uh, pop a little bit more. Uh, my brushes, toothbrush, a, um, what is this, a tube, a whatever, you know, to get in the crevices and some microfiber, microfiber towels. Um, so, yeah. But uh, first things first, I need to back this out of the garage so we get to a nice appropriate spot so we can uh, wash it. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically, um, like the video I linked up below, which is from Chris um, Fix. He made a uh, engine bay car wash video on like three different vehicles. So, um, but first thing we need to do really before we do anything is unhook the battery. All right, another thing is I'm not gonna be using a pressure washer at all because I don't really want a lot of power water on this stuff. I am just gonna use my hose and a little hose attachment that I was using before to wash my car, so. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna use this engine degreaser and just spray everything. All right, I've hosed down the uh, engine bay pretty well. Wiped it down on the, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of any standing water now. All right, I'm gonna use some of this detailer and see if this, uh, you know, starts shining stuff up, you know? I guess the most important thing is when you're drying the, the uh, after you're washing it down is making sure the, there's no standing water. And I think that's, I think that's the biggest, biggest thing. You don't want any standing water. Oh, 
It looks way better. Um, I will say I didn't get detailed enough with this because I needed to kind of do a quick job. I prayed that I sprayed that degreaser and <laughs> I forgot I um, plasti dipped this part <laughs> of the engine cover red, so it started eating at it. <laughs> so I kind of had to go quickly on it and uh, rinse it down. But man, but man, it looks so much better. I am happy. Um, what I was also going to do in this video, but honestly I don't have enough time, um, was I was going to, um, I'm going to wrap these intake tubes in um, gold heat heat foil, I guess, um, just to give it a better look. I mean, you know, it's supposed to help decrease heat for the intake and reflect the heat and yada yada yada. I don't care. I just want it to look a little nicer in the engine bay. Plus, these ones I bought are second hand and they are scratched up. And look, when somebody was um, installing these, they obviously, they dented the intake right here and to get to this bolt to tighten it down. Now what they should have did is put this strut back in and then put the intake on, but it looks like they put the intake on and then the strut, tower, or strut bar back on. So, anyways, I appreciate you guys joining in on um, this little video of me washing the engine bay real quick. Um, I was going to do it in depth, detailed how to to do it, but I thought I'd just show you real quick what I was doing. You guys can check out Chris Fix again. I'll put another um, card here again if you guys want to check out how to wash your engine bay. Um, the car runs fine. I started back up, pulled it back in the driveway. No issues whatsoever. So I am completely happy with the car right now. Engine bay looks way better than it did before. It's not 100% clean, I will say that. There is still dirt in like small spots. I could have probably took another hour to clean it and it would have looked way better, but I ain't got the time today, guys. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. And I lied. Um, I'm not gonna end the video there. I am going to clean these up, um, which I've already started. Um, this is what this looked like. It was all rusted. This is for the um, holds part of the intake up on the um, car. So it was all rusted and looks terrible. So I'm gonna clean it up and paint these black real quick. Put these on the car, put my crash bar back on. Um, I might even jack the car up and um, replace my splash guard on the driver front. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I am going to use my uh, brake caliper paint since this is all the black paint I have and it should do great. First things first is I'm gonna use uh, uh, some 91 alcohol and uh, make sure it's prepped and ready to go, you know, so. I'm gonna do it right here, right? Why not? done drying. Um, I took some time while I was drying to take the little one to the park. It's first time experience in the park. And yeah, check it out. One, two, three. <laughs> Nothing. All right, I'm gonna put these on and hopefully I don't know why this section over here is such a tight squeeze versus that section, but whatever. All right. Filters are on, the air filters are on, they're good. God, it, the engine bay looks, looks so much better when I stare at this thing. Um, I think that plastic dip's coming off. I'm gonna have to pull the plastic dip off and uh, redo it. All right, I'm gonna put the crash bar back on.
All right, and I have it all on there and I'm done. So that's pretty much it that I'm gonna do with this video. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna use the original closing. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Uh -huh.